a patch of skin that is really hard to make the rash go away could be psoriasis. And it's a really tough long-term condition that often requires steroids. I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. I'm here to talk to you today about psoriasis. And I've recently attended a continuing education presentation for pharmacists about this, and I discovered there are some emerging treatments that can help people with psoriasis. That is really exciting news because the current treatments are pretty miserable and nobody wants to have to do them as necessarily. So psoriasis, what is it? It's a plaque of skin that is not working the right way it's supposed to. It can be itchy, it can be dry, it can even crack and bleed. I've spent hundreds of hours reading PDFs of doctors saying, I, my patient needs this medication. And just hearing how they describe what their patients are going through is heartbreaking. That the body surface area or the amount of skin involved in the rash can be extreme, that it can make it hard to be out in public. And so this is good news to have more treatment options available. So psoriasis um, situation, then you might have to actually take a pill in immunosuppressants like cyclosporin or methotrexate or acetretin. Those are often treatments that people use, but now we actually even have injectable medications that people use, such as Humira, which is adalimumab, etanercept, which is Enbrel, infliximab, Psychokinumab, and some new options that I want to tell you about right now. What are the existing treatments and what are the problems with them? So first, it depends on how bad the psoriasis is. For moderate, mild to moderate, we usually just use creams, things that you can rub on your skin. It's called topical therapy. And one of the top things that we often use are corticosteroids, prednisone, which I'm the prednisone pharmacist, prednisone's little cousins, like fluticasone and betamethasone. And they work amazingly well to constrict the blood vessels, to slow down the growth, they're anti-inflammatory, and they're immunosuppressive. But you have to apply multiple times a day. They can cause skin thinning. It can cause rebound reactions. There's so many issues. So people don't necessarily want to be stuck on them. And there's vitamin D analogs, um, creams of a medication that looks like vitamin D that you rub on. There's tazerotene, there's coal tar, which is messy, the calcineurin inhibitors like protopic, tocrolimus, and now there's new ones that I'm going to talk about soon. What if you have worse situation, such as a severe, things that are designed to help you be steroid free. They're designed for people who are taking prednisone and don't want to have to use, not taking prednisone, using topical steroids and don't want to do it anymore. So Vitama, V-T-A-M-A is Tapinarov cream and it's designed to be steroid free. And then Zori, which is a topical treatment just approved in July of 2022. And it's for those 12 and older who have plaque psoriasis. So those are the new treatment options that you can use. Um, they're non-steroid that you can use if you are stuck on topical steroid and you want to get off. I'm always looking for prednisone alternatives. And here's some for people with psoriasis. If you're struggling with steroids, I have a prednisone checklist that you can download to get all the best tips that I have to help counteract side. Signing off is Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. 